So I made my Advocat recipe a few weeks ago for Easter, and I figured, well, we still got it. Let's make some summer Advocat drinks. It's typically usually uh, reserved for Christmas, but you know what? We can make some refreshing drinks. Even though they're creamy, they can still be refreshing and very summer themed. Or you can just drink some gross swamp water. <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit that button, hit that bell, get notified when we release new content. All right, let's start our summer drinks with cachaça, banana liqueur, and of course, our advocate. This is called the Brazilian Heritage. Obviously, um, cachaça is a national spirit of Brazil. So we're starting with an ounce and a half of our homemade Advocat. Make sure you click that link, guys. Learn how to make your own Advocat. It's super simple. I do it every year, usually for Christmas. This is the first time I've had it during the during kind of the spring summertime. Whenever you're using cream ingredients, this stuff is super thick. Always pour it first. That way your next ingredients will wash it out of the jigger. So to that, we're doing an ounce and a half of cachaça. I'm using Leblon. It's a great cachaça, makes a great caipirinha. But today we're doing something a little different. Okay. After that, we want three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, freshly squeezed. And then we want some banana liqueur. This is homemade banana liqueur. So click that link and see how I make that. And this is this has like a real banana taste. Don't use the imitation neon yellow stuff. That stuff's gross. <laughs> make a real banana liqueur. After that, half ounce of honey syrup. And to top it all off, we've got two dashes of good old Angostura bitters. All right, let's drop some kind of cracked ice. I got some small like half inch cubes in there and some crushed ice. The ice here doesn't matter too much. Quick, uh, quick shake. And we're gonna serve this guy in kind of a retro wine glass. I got these at thrift stores and they're great. Um, oop, a little spill there. All right, looking good. For garnish, we're gonna do a dehydrated lime wheel and a nice little sprig of mint. Doesn't that look refreshing, look summery? That's not a Christmas drink right there. That is a summer drink with Advocat. Can't wait to try it later, but we gotta move on. For the next one, we're using vodka and blue curacao. It's gonna interact with the Advocat, give us a nice green color. This is called the 80s Slamma. So we're gonna do two ounces of our Advocat here. Now, uh, since all the other ingredients are below an ounce, we're gonna use the, the uh, one ounce side of our jigger, not the two ounce side, because we want those other ingredients, as I mentioned earlier, to soak up the Advocat. It's super thick, so it's gonna, a lot of it's gonna stick in the jigger. So next up, we're gonna do an ounce of vodka, and that's gonna soak up kind of the rest of that uh, Advocat. There we go, ounce of vodka. So obviously vodka here is just going to increase the alcohol, but would not add any flavor necessarily. After that, half ounce of blue curacao. That's going to give us a nice green color. Um, I could have used my green curacao, but I wanted to stick to the recipe. But it's going to mix with the yellow tint of the Advocat and give us a nice green color. For that, we got some lime juice, three quarter ounce once again. And then we're just gonna do a quarter ounce of simple syrup. I think the original recipe called for a little more, but every ingredient in here, aside from the vodka, is, is sweet. So I didn't think uh, additional sweetness was really required. Um, crushed ice, shaky, shaky. Looking good. We're gonna serve this guy in a, uh, a hurricane glass or a Poco Grande glass. Just w one of these fancy fun glasses. Pour it all in. All right, and then we got to top off with more crushed ice, obviously. Just mix everything together. For garnish here, we're gonna give it a nice uh, straw, a dehydrated citrus, and an umbrella. Because it's a summer drink. You gotta give it that nice tiki umbrella. There it is, the 80s Slammer. Let's move on to our last drink. Now, I, this is my own creation here. I really wanted to take the Snowball, which is kind of the classic uh, um, Advocat drink, but make it a kind of a tiki twist, so a summer twist. So we're calling this the Tiki Snowball. We're gonna start with an ounce and a half of Advocat. Once again, using the one ounce side of the jigger, we're just gonna do a one ounce pour, followed by a half ounce pour. 
All right, looking good. Next, what we want is some funky rum flavor. And what better way to accomplish that than with Smith & Cross Jamaican rum. This stuff is amazing. If you've never tried this rum, do it. It has such a nice, bold, strong, funky flavor. We're doing a full ounce of Smith & Cross. After that, we want more tiki flavors. So a quarter ounce of falernum. This is my own homemade falernum. So click that link, go check out that recipe. We need some lime juice here, so half ounce of lime juice. And then to top it all off to give it even more um, tiki flavor, we're using these Elamakule uh, tiki bitters. And those are gonna add a nice little spice, a little anise, just a lot of stuff that you find traditionally in tiki cocktails. We're gonna give that a shake with some ice. Normally I build a snowball, a classic snowball, right, in, right into a highball glass, but this one has a lot more flavors, a lot more ingredients going on, so I wanted to mix it beforehand. So Colin's glass with some ice cubes, we're gonna pour that in. I could have started by putting a bit of the soda at the bottom, but whatever, it's fine. We'll just mix it afterwards. After that, we're gonna top it off with, uh, you could top it off with a lemon lime soda, that's traditional. I'm topping it with these spiced orange ginger ales from uh, Fever Tree. They're fantastic, that's my favorite one for the, the classic snowballs. So I figured it'll work great here as well. It's gonna foam up a lot, just gonna use my spoon straw to kind of mix the um, all the ingredients. We're gonna garnish with a dehydrated citrus, and there it is, our tiki snowball. Mmm. Looks great. There it is, guys, our three summer refreshing cocktails with Advocat. Let's give them a try. So the first one, the Brazilian Heritage. Oh, wow. Wow, that's that's incredible. I wasn't expecting this one to be that good. Uh, the the Advocat kind of takes a back seat. It, it gives it a nice creamy undertone, but it's really cachaça forward. The banana is there, but this is all about the cachaça, and that is really, really good. If any of these you try, try that one. That is fantastic. Next up, the 80s Slammer. Mm, I mean, it, it's refreshing, but there's not much compared to the first one, not much going on here. I mean, vodka has no flavor, and let's face it, Blue Curacao just tastes like blue. <laughs> doesn't. There's not even much orange flavor to it. So this is like Advocat with some added sweetness and a blue color or green color. So that one is... I didn't expect too much of it, but not my favorite. And lastly, the Tiki Snowball. Cheers. Oh, that's good. I mean, I love the Snowball cocktail. This one with the added uh, funk from the Smith & Cross, the uh, spices from the Falernum and the bitters, uh, really give it that Tiki summer rum vibe. And of course, it's got the lovely Advocat. Fantastic, that is a great, great drink. Uh, so guys, pick up a bottle of Advocat. It, it's available in stores all year round. I usually make, because I make it myself, I usually only make it at Christmas, but you can totally make it all year round. I'm gonna rate these. Number one, Brazilian Heritage, obviously. That was super good. If you like cachaça, do it. Number two, my Tiki Snowball. And number three, I didn't really like the, uh, the 80s Slammer, but in any case, get yourself a bottle of Advocat. Uh, whether you make it using my recipe or whether you just simply get one from the store, they are available all year round. Don't think it's just for Christmas. Make yourself some summer refreshing yet creamy drinks. It totally works. These are some awesome cocktails, guys. And we'll see you next time. And Odin is still drinking the gross water. All right, guys. Cheers. Cheers.